Limber and onion. One, two, three. Ew! That was by far the worst one. Spit it out. I just need to buy a comfortable pair of shoes because I was walking my block heels. Uh, you have like insert, a for your fan base. Insert. Ew, no. Hold on, you have not seen the best of it yet. Okay, okay. Welcome back to Via's um, interview. So this is our interviewee. <laughs> the number one tip I want to give you is that you need to create a routine. Hey. Hey, 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 welcome back, welcome back. Guess what I'm doing? Literally, guess what I'm doing? I have a train at 9.20. That means that I was supposed to go to the train station at nine. And I was supposed to wake up at six and get ready, need to finish up packing, need to make lunch. Guess when I woke up? Either the alarm didn't go off or I slept through it. Woke up at 7.40. And surprisingly, I actually got up, did all those things within an hour. It's crazy. So now we're currently waiting for the Uber right now. And we're going to New York for a glow up because why the fuck not? Why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we got on a train, but it was fucking late. It was 20 minutes late, so it's 9.40 right now. I am here with my friend. <laughs> so we're going to be going to the hair salon. I call an Uber because we're so late. It's gonna be okay now because we're gonna get there. Literally, when I was at the hotel, I threw such a big tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was so mad because the guy was just taking forever. I did tell him we're gonna be 15 minutes late, but if we started walking now, it would have been 30 minutes Literally, late. Yeah. Okay. Guys, look at me. Hair dye in. go get the vegan chicken i can eat a lot and i'm like i'm in new york i want to try a lot of things um i feel like when i'm like in the mood to try like a lot of different food i eat a little bit of everything and my friend right now i'm really distracted by her because i'm scared she might just <laughs> trip and die i don't want to call the ambulance because it's a 911 yeah okay and we're gonna pay 3k so. ambulance here's are so expensive <laughs> i want gray street <laughs> yes we'll get gray street i love dessert Oh, I love going to a new city and just eating like a bunch of different shit. You know? I know. It feels so good, literally. Especially when you're with a friend, too. Yeah. It just makes it better. I know. They could share stuff, too. Yes. They gave me a whole bowl of fried vegan wings. I'm so excited. I literally crave buffalo wings. Wow. Yeah. I can't eat it. I can't eat it. Hey, this is something I know. Good morning. It's technically good morning. We're gonna head to Brooklyn right now because I have a nail appointment.
like I promised you guys, I will mention some glow up tips for you guys. For your information, I am back at home right now. I am officially glowed up. Let me know if you guys want a longer version of this, but I'm gonna make this very, very quick, okay? The number one tip I want to give you is that you need to create a routine. What's the point of a routine? You just wake up at 7 a.m. Like, what, what's the point of that? If I don't have a routine, I'll just be in my bed. I'll be in my bed and I'll just be scrolling. And then five hour passes. You know five hours are very long time to do a lot of things. A routine is just not one instant. A routine is that you have to repeat this. And a routine is very, very powerful. You make progress on things. Make sure to do things that really benefit to you. Number two for glow up tips is that you should find hobbies. You should find things that you take interest in, such as like taking certain classes, learning a new language, whatever it is. I'm currently taking Japanese these classes. For those of you who follow my Instagram and my TikTok, you guys will know that I've been taking some sewing classes. And lastly, you guys know that like I've always wanted to get back into drawing or designing something. Been trying to get back into procreate, okay? And it's kind of hard to just get back on my own, so I decided to take some classes. So hence, I decided to go online and look for classes that teach me how to use procreate in like a more designing way. And lucky me, I found a class on Skillshare that teaches me how to design patterns. <laughs> so hence, I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And I know you guys might be like, what is Skillshare? So let let me just give you a quick rundown. So Skillshare is basically the largest learning community for creative. If you're wondering, the class I'm currently taking is the Master Procreate Professional Technique. And guys, I literally didn't know that you can create custom pattern actions in Procreate. I literally thought that you had to draw the patterns on manually. And they're all led by industry pros across so many different fields, such as like film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, so much more. So I think investing in yourself is very important. Hence, I'm saying that you need to find out your hobbies, put work into developing those skills, which is why I love Skillshare and see if the topics that you're interested in are on Skillshare. They most likely are. And if you're like, Via, I don't know where to start. It is okay. Skillshare knew this. So apparently Skillshare also designs these learning paths to take you from a beginner to a pro. I really want you guys to use this website and try to figure out what exactly you guys like. Because I know a lot of you guys who follow me are creatives. I know, I've seen the DMs. So hence, the first 500 people to use my link in the description below will receive one month free of Skillshare. Quickly sign up and we can all take classes and better ourselves, okay? So hence, I highly recommend you guys to check out Skillshare in the link below. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video. Glow up tip number three. You need to learn makeup techniques that enhances your own features. For those who have been following me for a long time, you know that I used to do my liner. Like you see how my liner now goes straight. Back then, it was fucking vertical. Like. I, uh, uh, uh. And the thing is that I have a very big digital footprint. So if you scroll through my videos, you're gonna see them and it's quite embarrassing. So I'm trying to save you from that embarrassment. You need to look at your face kind of objectively. Tip number four, less screen time. I know everyone says this. You know, you see those video and be like, get off your phone. And I'm like, no. The thing is that ever since I came back from Japan, and yeah, I'm not done editing the solo travel series, guys. I said this before, I have one more episode left, okay? Sorry for the time confusion on here. During traveling, I don't usually use my phone much until I came back to Boston, I started keeping track of how much time I'm on it. Two hours! You know how much you can get done within two hours? These days when I wake up, I do not go on my phone. I'll check my text messages and I'll check the weather. I do not go on any social media apps because I know that if I go on it, I'm going to be on it forever. My last glow up tip, okay? Cooking more. I get it like if you're a college student, like, you know, you can't really cook your own food, I guess. A young adult like me, Try to stop calling takeout, okay? And I know some of you are like, oh, I have no time to do things. Um, Let me know if you guys wanna see like what I eat in a day. The whole thing, like not including the time that it takes to cook rice because I'm not standing there while the rice is cooking, I'm doing other stuff. It takes around five minutes and dishes takes a really quick. I do my dishes really quick, like two or three minutes. Trust me, it's so much cheaper to cook your own food. Cooking, it's kind of a bit like therapy for me, you know, it's, it, it slows me down. That's it for my five glow up tips. And I know this was like, this was really fast, I know, but um, I just wanna, you know, help you guys out in case you guys are wondering like, oh my God, this is like a glow up vlog. Where are the glow up tips? Here, here, here you go. Yeah, anyways, back to the vlog. Guys, I'm fucking in love with my nails. Right now, me and Hung Lee, we're going to get dinner. And oh my god, I really like Brooklyn. And for those wondering, my travel solo travel series are still not done yet. I'm still editing them, and I realize like a lot of footage of me talking like this. Because you guys need to like imagine me with a camera. When I talk like this, nobody really looks at me. But when I hold it up like this, I'm kind of scared to film international. In New York, it's like, I don't care. Your coat's on the ground. Oh, thank you. Oh, it feels so weird using this with my nails now. See? Just the tiny thing. Look at it.
lagi yang suci. I bought a ring guys. I don't usually buy rings, but it really matches my nails with the pearl You know this one would not tarnish. I like jewelry that I can shower in and that I don't need to like constantly take off Oh, maybe I should start collecting rings. Who knows? Happy happy purchase So we're gonna do a bean boozle challenge right now. There's a lot of different flavors. I do not want to get, oh my God. Wait, is this peach or barf? Stink bug, dirty dishwasher, rotten egg. Should I do it again? Liver and onions. Oh shit. Onions isn't That's that bad. bad. Onions isn't that bad. Liver and onions. We got cappuccino or liver and onions. Ready? Yeah. One. I think I got that one. I think I got the bad one, guys. Why do you keep getting the bad one? I can smell it. One, two, three. <gasps> Ew! That one's by far the worst one. You get the good one or bad one? Don't chew it. Did you get cappuccino? It's not cappuccino. This is so bad. Spit it out. I already swallowed it. What is wrong with you? Uh, tutti frutti or stinky socks. So guys, we got this one. Okay, ready? Oh, wait, I got the good one. This is a stinky sock one. <laughs> um, this one was pomegranate or old bandage. Ew, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? One, two, two three. three. That's nasty. Oh my god, I don't want to do this one again. Strawberry banana smoothie. Or dead fish. One, two, three. I got it fucking again. I don't want to play this anymore. Oh my god, this taste is so fucking bad. I'm Spit it out, Hung Lee. Dude, though, you're going to get sick from eating this. Um, you can see we're back at the hotel. I just need to buy a comfortable pair of shoes because I was walking my block heels, but my block heels are comfortable, but you cannot walk fucking 20k steps in them. I got my period today and I knew that I was gonna get my period today. But the thing is that it leaked through my freaking pants, so that's why we're back. And I'm so upset. I'm like, what the frick? We're finally out. Today there was a lot of inconveniences that happened this morning. Oh my god. Look at this beautiful nature. three o'clock it's been an hour an hour is definitely not enough time to explore everything here this place has so much stuff and it's so beautiful
Yeah, this is probably Boba. The Boba is so soft, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is our last full day in New York. My friend Hong Lee, she went to tour her school, so I'm kind of on my own. And I decided that I'm going to meet some of my TikTok mutuals. I'm so excited. Yeah, so exciting. Yeah, anyways, anyways, how are you guys doing? I realize that whenever I get nervous, I film from down here, okay? I'm sorry, guys. I get nervous. I need to build up more confidence to film like this. I need to shut up. Sorry. <laughs> Guys, I'm with Jenny. Hello. Do you have like, insert, a for your fan base? Insert. Ew, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want one? Let's make one right now. <laughs> We are Lily Boo. <laughs> we are not naming that. Imagine starting the intro like that. Do you know my family's name? What? It's Kate. called Cooties. Kate. <laughs> That's so cute though. Because now I can't forget it. Eileen special cheesecake. It's really good. Yeah. Really soft. Guys, look who I'm with. Hi. Coco. <laughs> Excuse me, where's your fit from? One of those people from TikTok, I mean, yeah. came up. Yeah. So I go, where was your fit from? My anxiety spiked up. Etsy? I don't know the brand of this. I think I'm going to do She's the keeping. She's I'm the not keeping. You can look at the tag. You can look at the tag right now. <laughs> I'm going to show you my dance moves. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, she's getting in it. Oh, she's getting into it. I'm scared. Um, I don't know who you are. That was really bad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You have not seen the best of it yet. Okay, okay. Okay, um, so that's enough. So, uh, we're gonna actually just... Wow, this is beautiful. Maybe you need to show me how it's done. to Via's um, interview. So this is our interviewee. Oh, what was your favorite part of New York? Uh, the food. Yeah. The food and the company, you know? Clearly, because I was I was in the company oh, of the queen okay. herself. And the urban tax. Urban tax was so crazy. They went to the hotel and they were like, oh, we're gonna cost you like a urban tax. I'm like, people are looking at, at me like I'm crazy because I need this as a mic. This is a mic. What was the worst part about New York? The urban tax. You know what she said when she got this water bottle? Literally, look at the size of mine. Look at the size of hers. <laughs> hers was huge. I was like, why is yours so much bigger? She's like, I could I need more water. I'm like, I'm bigger than you. Literally, look at us. <laughs> it's tiny. Last day in New York. Ooh. 
okay so basically today we have our train at one and i just want to check out of here you know earlier so we can get bagel and i kind of want to go to that grand central market as well i have not been to new york in a while i remember back then whenever i come here i always felt like so excited this time yeah same but the excitement's like different i'm not as excited as like the first or like the second time I first came here. Now when I see Times Square, oh die. So noisy, I cannot do it. Literally when we were going by the Met, we saw this garden. I was really excited with that. I think coming along with my friend, shout out to Hong Lee. Yeah. Hi, I look really tired. Coming on a trip just like with a friend is just nice. Are you ready? <coughs> She's so slow. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. Hey, let's go. Wait, I lied, I need like two more minutes. Everyone in the comment section tell her to go faster. <laughs> Lego place we went to was literally so packed. I would probably not have went there in by myself. I got a plain bagel, skank and cheese. This is only five dollars. This is my friends. Oh my god. We are back in Boston and I'm gonna call an Uber now. That's it for my New York glow up. She dyed her hair, she did her nails, which I never freaking do. I hope you guys enjoyed this New York trip. I haven't been in New York in so long. Oh my god. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, okay? Anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you guys all next week. Oh my god, look at my eyeliner, it's all smudged. It's been a long day, okay? Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. I love you guys.